<laughs> Not really, that's so funny. <laughs> Bedroom blow up. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm not going to do much of an intro because um, my sleep pattern is really bad, so I don't think I'm going to be very awake to even make sense. Uh, oh my gosh, it's all going wrong. Anyway, I've not slept very well. In fact, I've been looks crappy. And I don't really want to do much being in front of the camera, so you're just going to hear a lot of my voice in this video today. But I'm super excited for my new series. And I have so many ideas, and I think that's just probably what keeps me up at night. And then I don't do them because I wait for the daytime. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's it, really. Um, I'm going to go and dry my hair. There's one thing I want to tell you, and I've started up like a little side business. It's called Pickled Moon. I'm going to be selling, um, selling some vintage bits and pieces for the home. Um, at the moment, we've kind of stretched a little bit towards jewellery. Um, we are also looking at, in the future, getting some upcycled projects. It's with me and a very good friend of mine called Kelly. You may have seen her in my stories. <laughs> <laughs> So if, in, if you've not followed me on Instagram, my Instagram handle will be down below, as well as Pickled Moons. We're on Etsy. Um, but again, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe because honestly, I want to keep this channel going. Originally, I planned to do this kind of style for the spare room when I was doing it up then. I then often, I kind of realised that my bedroom has that style already a bit, but let's tie it together a little bit more. Um, I also got into the colour beige recently, um, and I want to try and tie it in in a way that doesn't make my space feel boring. But neutrals are very attractive right now, and they're extremely in, as well as this uh, resurgence of eighties an 80s version by Deco, I would imagine. So that is really exciting me right now. I'm loving this whole, I actually get butterflies thinking about all the decor, new items I'm seeing about. So I decided I would love to have some cool lighting, but of course, like anything, it's expensive. So let's find a way around this and that's what I did. I decided to DIY them myself, obviously. And actually I got a brain wave after messing up <laughs> some lamps I bought on eBay. I did not like what I did. So you gotta make do and mend, as my grandma would say. So for light number one, I got these stickers from Amazon, the Exacto knife and this box, which is from Wilco's, obviously, as I get everything from there. It's for pens, I believe, um, but I thought it was a really handy, nifty little trick using it for one of the bases because it's quite strong cardboard. You want to really, you just want to get the stickers out. They are like fake tile design. I uh, stuck them all over the box just to kind of make them look just like real tiles, but it's a lot cheaper. The other thing you will need is a wire for the light, so you're going to want to draw around this in a second to make sure you get the right shape for it to poke through so your light bulb can sit firmly on top. 
Um, I used a, a pen that is water soluble so you can rub it off. And then I use my exacto knife to cut the exact circle out. Once you have finished, make sure you add a light bulb because that's how you're going to be able to make it into a light. And uh, voila, here you go, here's the finished result. It's the friendly, it's still the spotlight like Mr. Bentley. I spot a hood like Spud McKenzie. And for them fake boobies, I paid them Benjis. Get your own. I got Paris, he got Nicky, he tried to get him a clone. He said, yeah, you know you got extra hoes and everything you do is extra cold. From the polo fleece to the Jesus piece. This is a real minimal tech. For my favourite one, my favourite light I made, this one was really easy as well. You need a tube from like a postage tube and some dowels. And I cut the dowels down so they would fit around the edge. Um, this kind of style is really popular at the moment. Um, I sanded down the end of the dowels anyway to make it smooth so they were sat at the right height. And I got some wood glue to stick around the couple tube. I'd say this probably takes about an hour to dry but you can leave overnight just in case you want to be on the safe side. Um, I also put a hairband around the tube just to make sure it all stayed nice and tight. I also left a little gap just so we could make sure the wire could poke through as you can see here. And once I decided on the colour, as you can see I painted a different colour before I did this colour. I went ahead and painted with acrylic and used a few coats just to make sure the paint was all uniform and covered properly. <laughs> So impressed with how these two came out and how cheap they were. They look amazing. I'm definitely going to be keeping them for a very long time. I also made another lamp, which I didn't like as much, but if you like it, then let me know. I do have some footage that I can work together. You can let me know by commenting down below or follow me on Instagram and let me know there. Please remember to like and subscribe, check out my Instagram for updates on my new business and give us a follow at Pickled Moon Vintage. Thanks guys. Why did the hipster stop drinking coffee? Cross the road because no, why did the hipster stop drinking coffee? Because he drank it before it was too cool. <laughs>